the WHO India Adapted Medical Eligibility Wheel is a convenient tool to help family planning and healthcare providers. They can quickly look upon a woman's condition to determine if a contraceptive is safe for her to use. This video will aid you in how to use the wheel and the app. The MEC wheel includes the hormonal family planning methods and copper IUD. It has two moving parts and inner wheel with the contraceptive methods and an outer wheel with reproductive and medical conditions plus other factors that may put a woman at risk. Find the contraceptive method on the inner wheel. For example, the pill in the family of combined hormonal contraceptives. Then rotate the wheel to the woman's condition laid beautifully on the outer wheel. If it is given 3 or 4, she should not use the pill. A 1 or 2 indicates the method is safe to use. Some numbers have small letters next to them. For example, using a pill is given a 3G when woman is breastfeeding and is less than 6 months postpartum. The 3 indicates the pill is not safe. Look up the letter on the back of the wheel for more information. The G indicates the pill is safe to use if the woman is more than 6 weeks postpartum and is not breastfeeding. Spend time with the MEC wheel to become familiar with conditions that are not safe with each contraceptive method. In this example, this woman is 4 weeks postpartum is breastfeeding and is healthy. She is going back to work soon, so doesn't feel comfortable with breastfeeding method. She is thinking about contraceptive subcutaneous injection as shown. Check the MEC wheel. Find the injection, also known as DMPA, in the group of progestogen only injectables, then rotate the wheel to the section postpartum and breastfeeding. There are four categories based on time since birth. She is 4 to 6 weeks postpartum. The number 3 indicates that the injection is not safe for her at this time. Moving the wheel forward, you will see the injection is safe for her after 6 weeks postpartum. Since she is 4 weeks postpartum, the MEC wheel indicates alternative methods which are given a 1 or a 2 which are safe for her to start now. These include the progestogen only pills, the implant and either the hormonal IUD or the copper IUD or she can return after 2 weeks if she wants to start the injection. In next example, a woman wants to take the pill but her blood pressure was too high on her first visit. She has returned for a second measurement. It is still elevated. 146 over 92 millimeters of mercury. Check the MEC wheel. Find the pill then rotate the wheel to the section Hypertension. Her BP is in the first range as indicated by the outer wheel. The number 3 indicates that the pill is not safe for her. The other methods with a 1 or 2 are safe. You can counsel her on the alternative methods. In this last example, let's see how the MEC wheel app works. Go to the eligibility tool, find Hypertension, then elevated blood pressure levels, 146 over 92 is in the first range. Click it. Look below method are numbered 1 through 4 based on the risk of hypertension. CHC which means combined hormonal contraceptives includes the pills. Again, 3 indicates that the pill is not safe for this woman. All the other methods are safe though. Click see recommendations to learn about the alternatives. Clicking on the information icon takes you to the full description of each method. This will help you in counseling the woman for alternative methods that are safe for her to use. Remember, MEC wheel is a quick and easy way to look up to the safety of contraceptive methods. Find the contraceptive method on the inner wheel and the woman's medical condition on the outer wheel. A 1 or 2 indicates the method is safe to use and 3 or 4 indicates that the method is unsafe.